That's right. Sing! I never have to see the day again. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ronnie! No! I am way too drunk to be singing in front of people. Florence, how are you? Hi, are you there now? Yes, I've lived here a long time. Have you been to our city lately? I've never been. In your life? In my life, I've never been. I clearly need to change that. Oh my gosh. Well, listen, after people hear you singing in this movie, you might be offered a Vegas yeah. residency. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. I can't wait to come. I'll have to, I'll have to text you when I'm there. I'll hit you up, I'll take you out, we'll give you the key to the city, whatever you want. You have to, you have to. What the hell did you do to your hair? It's Makeover Monday. It's Friday. Oh. In this movie, watching it, I got goosebumps, I got tears all throughout the film. There has not been a movie that's moved me or touched me quite like this in a long time, so thank you so much. Thank you, that's a really wonderful thing to hear. Thank you so much. I mean, you gave such a beautiful performance that I think is going to resonate with so many people. And I know you've said in the past that you don't even take on a project unless it scares you. So yeah. what was it about this part that specifically scared you the most? Um, you know, it's funny, even though every every movie has scared me, there's, a, there's always a scene that makes me terrified and I have to do it because of it. Weirdly enough, I felt very safe with this script and this story. And obviously that's due to Zach and, and Zach writing it for me and, and us already having that um, easy back and forth. But I think uh, I felt very excited to take on a role like this, mm -hmm. partly because it was just so raw and so bare. And um, clearly for all the obvious reasons as to why uh, a storyline like this would scare me, we just have to get it right. You know, there's no room for error when you when you talk about this subject matter, when you uh, make a movie about this topic, you have to you have to make sure that you are being honest. And that is always the most terrifying thing. Aren't you engaged to Nathan Adams? I was, yeah. I heard what happened to you, the accident. The woman that died was about to be my sister-in-law. Oh I mean, it was just absolutely God. beautiful. Thank you so much. That makes me smile and, and you warm my heart. Thank you. I mean, I'm still thinking about it. I mean, I literally like was posting about it, telling, I like called my mom, I called my sister. I'm like, this movie, I found out my mom's like, I haven't heard that one yet. I'm like, that's the whole point. That's why I'm telling you about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we don't have much of a, a, a an advertising budget, so it is all word of mouth. So thanks for telling your mom. <laughs> and everyone else that will hear, because truthfully, I think this is going to resonate with so many people for so many reasons. And I just have to tell you, though, if I wrote something this powerful, I would have pulled a, a Google hunting and put myself in the movie. So you are very altruistic. <laughs> well, I, I listen, I think I'm a decent actor, but I'm not an actor on the level of Florence Pugh and, and Morgan Freeman. So to be able to have these and Molly Shannon to have these incredible actors saying w the words I've, I've written was was just thrilling. And and uh, I just feel so lucky that I got this cast. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, we know what an incredible talent Florence is from the moment she kind of arrived. It just keeps getting better. And you've known her on a personal level. But what is something new that you discovered about her through the director's lens? Just, you know, it's, gosh, you know, some people need to, to stay in the character all day. And, and there's no right or wrong way to do it. But the, another miraculous thing about Florence is, that she can do one of these intense scenes and you're just like, you're, everyone's jaws on the floor and then you call cut and she'll, you know, kind of turn to the, the one of the grips and be like, what'd you have for dinner last night? You know, she 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 she's incredible in how she can drop in and out of these this character. Uh, I, I've just never really seen anything like it. Speaking of Zach writing this part for you, what yeah. was that? You know, obviously there's a personal connection. What was the one thing from Florence he could bring into the character that no other writer or director would have been able to? There's so much of me in Alison, like truly, there's so much of me. And and when I watch her, I really enjoy, um, I really enjoy how, how silly she is, you know? <laughs> she, for someone who is clearly in a really dark space, she has so much humor and light that this is what, you know, life is like when, when we go through dark times, the only way to get through it is by laughing at it sometimes. And I think, you know, that was something that only someone who knew me so well could um, really allow to breathe into the character. 
and also just the fact that he wrote it with my voice in mind. I've, yeah. I've had scripts in the past where someone has written it for me to play that character, but I've never had someone write it for me and also kind of bring me out in a character as well. So I think her her wittiness and and her, um, <laughs> her oddness <laughs> is definitely a piece of me. <laughs> Vegas. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear you say that because I just talked to your lovely movie daughter and she's never been. She hasn't. Florence would love Las Vegas. Don't you think? I think you need to bring her for her inaugural visit. Yeah, she would be like, with the, it, it blows your mind if you've never been, like when you see those slot machines and you get such nice hotel rooms and it's pretty great. First of all, thank you for all the entertainment personally that you've given us over the years. You've made me laugh like no other. And I know this is such a serious, beautiful movie, but thank goodness for the levity that you added for those needed scenes. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, Zach Braff does such a great job balancing the drama with the comedy. And he knows when it gets a little too heavy, when to lighten it up with a joke or a funny bit about Shark Tank or whatever he throws in that's so funny. Makeover Monday. I know I keep going like, you're not like a regular mom. You're like a cool mom, like your buddy Amy Poehler. Remember, I'm a cool mom. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly, exactly. That's so funny. I'm a cool mom, yeah. This is incredible. My wife used to hang out with me down here. She liked to whistle. <laughs> for you, I know this is such a personal project for you and, and dealing with so much loss and grief. Was there a part of doing this film that you felt that healing process begin through this work? I tell you, it's a good question. I haven't really felt it until now that I'm sharing with people and we're getting this incredible response and I've been doing screenings all around the country. Wow. Now it's where it really feels um, cathartic in a way because, you know, when you're writing this stuff, you feel so alone. And when you, and we all as humans, when we go through these things, you, you can often feel very lonesome. And so when you sh when I share my own personal experience and then I see people react in the way that they're reacting to this movie, that's like you like you are. It, 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 that's when you feel like, oh, we aren't alone. We, 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 we all share this. We all feel these feelings. And well, and, and anyway, that's what I hope that, that, that there, there's a sense of community in, in the response. I got one of those audio books on how to talk to a teen. How's that working out? I am so not going to talk about sex with my grandfather. Really? Cause I just love this shit. I'm in way over my head. <laughs> you are such a gift and a treasure and you and Morgan together are absolute magic. We are out of time sadly, but I just want to tell oh, you, nice. thank you so much for what you've thank given you. us in acting. And this part especially has been just, um, it's breathtaking. Wow, thank you so much. It's lovely to chat to you. I'll see you in Vegas. Yes, we'll see you in Vegas soon, maybe on stage. Thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> we found like a craft that we like, we could be on Shark Tank. We would be like, hey sharks, no. I knew you would like that idea. <laughs>